and uh, we had uh, had two people. Um, Commissioner Vance, you had uh, stated that you had or Commissioner Matthews had stated that Commissioner Vance had not interviewed either engineering company. Um, are you satisfied with that? Yeah, I've I reviewed the information in the crash or the committee on Robinson. And I'll go ahead and make a motion to hire me on Robinson to do the engineering for this initial uh, review. I so, moved and second. Neil Robinson will be employed. All yes, go ahead. Motion carries. On to new business. <coughs> motion for the bill system in for payment. I moved and second. Moved and second. All yes. Motion carries. I need a motion to approve the appointments done in vacation Lincoln County Commission with Aaron Baker. I moved. I'll say. Moved and second. All yes. Motion carries. Motion through the point. Let's wills and settlements as submitted by Daryl Baker. Move. Move. Second. Oh yes. Motion carries. Need a motion to approve the Democrat and Republican election officials for the upcoming school bond election to be held on February the 23rd, 2013, as presented by the chairperson of each committee. Second. Second. Move. Second. Oh yes. Motion carries. I need the motion to approve the community participation grant program application for the West Virginia University Extension Service Office for the A to B safety in the amount of three thousand dollars to give Charles S. McCain Freshman authorization to sign those stated documents. I'll move. I'll second. Move and second. Oh yes, motion passed. Any motion to approve the community participation grant program application for the West Virginia University Extension Service Office in the amount of three thousand dollars from the 4-H Club and give Charles S. McCann President authorization to sign that stated document. So, so, do the second. Being all yes, vote. Motion carries. Need a motion to approve the agreement by and between the BI Incorporated and the Lincoln County Commission for the Electronic Mo Monitoring Program for the Lincoln County Home Incarceration Program and give Charles S. McCann President authorization to sign that stated documents. I move. I'll second. Do the second. All yes. Motion carries. Need to approve an and in our office budget revision for the West Virginia Extension, transferring $1,000 from 4-H camp rental to materials and supplies. So, so, move and second. All yes. Motion carries. Need a motion to release, release the duties of David Vickers as administrator of the estate of Geraldine White and appoint Mark Stewart as administrator for this estate. So, second. Move and second. In all yes, vote. Motion carries. I need a motion to reopen the estate of Wilson Braxton III and, and appoint Diane L. Lambert Beavers and the ministries set bond at one thousand dollars. Second. Again, all yes. Motion carries. I need a motion to appoint Dallas Clay to the McCoupal Advisory Board. Second. Second. All yes. Motion carries. Is there anyone in the audience that was not on the agenda to speak would like to speak at this time? Yes, please. Sure. I called, but evidently I couldn't get on the agenda. Um, I'm certainly glad to be here today because with this be, it might be the last commission meeting. I'm honored to be on the, uh, to give a little speech here since tomorrow might end the whole world, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I've heard that. Well, I have too. You know, we never know what's going to be here tomorrow anyway. Oh, sure. And I still have hope. Yeah. Uh, on December the 2nd and 3rd, I attended the 2012 West Virginia Educational Conference on Litter Control and Solid Waste Management, along with Maureen Haldron, our director, and other members of the board, Tom Bowen, David Webb, and Hal, and myself. Lincoln County was represented by five members of the board, which I think that's the most we've ever had. The conference had several very interesting speakers. On Sunday, we were entertained by Craig Cargis. He is a mentalist. He combines the art of magic with the science of psychology, and as usual, we were all amazed at the outcome of several projects he demonstrated. He did that levitation thing and had that table raised up in the air and all that, you know. 
On Monday, December the 3rd, the speaker was Mark Adams, Director of Industrial Contracts at Goodwill. As you can see on the reports I gave you, Goodwill is very much into recycling. Mr. Adams <coughs> spoke mostly on e-cycling. They have a warehouse in West Virginia that he said was full from floor to ceiling with electronics of all kinds that are partners with Dell. And Dell comes in and picks up these electronics. Some are refurbished and sold, others are sent out to the, out of the country. I mentioned that we had a place here in the area that will take any kind of electronics, whether it works or not, which is a union mission in Canal City. They will repair the item, and if not repairable, they will recycle it to someone else. He said, well, that someone else happens to be us. <coughs> I'm glad to hear about the circle of our recycling items. Also, on Monday, December the 3rd, another speaker was Barry Fox from Marble King. She is the CEO of Marble King, and she spoke of glass recycling. Over one million marbles a day are produced at Marble King. They're located at Payton City, West Virginia. They operate seven days a week, 365 days a year. She spoke of glass recycling and how it works at Marble King. Miss Fox stated a while back they were having a shortage of brown glass. She called her crew together and explained the problem. One employee asked, how can we get brown glass? She stated, this comes from beer bottles. So, an idea came up. You had a man. One employee said, you buy the beer and we'll give you all the empty bottles. <laughs> that problem was solved. <laughs> but um, I have given you a, a printout on Goodwill. The most I could, I asked for a transcript. I didn't get it. But I also have one on Marble King. It shows you a lot of things there that they produce. They produce jewelry. They have also were featured on the Travel Channel. You can get online, marbleking.com, and you can click on some of these. They were on Discovery Channel. They were on Travel Channel. And from what I have read, they're one of the number one money makers in the state of West Virginia that's based here. Um, in 1980, she told us in 1980, only 25% of the glass was used for recycling. In 2012, there's a big increase. Now, 95% of glass is used for recycling. And I read in the paper yesterday, I had the article here, where when Slack Street starts back up, they're going to start taking glass. We were afraid we were going to have to haul it all the way to Payton City or Beckley in order to get rid of it, because we've been accumulating it for over a year now. So the, the marbles that are made at Marble King are all 100% lead free. All other marbles are recycled and used in highway construction. Also, every time you shake an aerosol can and you hear a rattle, that's probably one of their marbles. It takes less energy to, to use recycled glass than it does to use the raw product to make the new glass. Our day <coughs> ended with the bus store of the lights at Ogle Bay Park. So it was a, a very interesting uh, trip, got a lot of good information. I have to run into Mr. Bowen and then he was telling me a little bit about the detail that you got there. He said he enjoyed the trip. Well, we did enjoy it. I, you know, I'm, I'm not a fan of the lights up there. I think St. Albans has got better lights or Coons can, but, you know, I've been up there before. But uh, we did get a book from this Greg Cargy. He signed it all. And he states, he was telling the story about it, and he says that you can teach yourself to be a mentalist. And he gave a, a graph up there. He said, now, uh, he had someone to write words. Ten words in this column and ten words in this column. He said, what you do, you take the first word and you think about it, like pancake. Somebody writes another le uh, word, you know, like hot dog. Well, you stop and you think, hot dog, pancake. Next one might be a whopper. Well, you think in your mind, whopper, hot dog, pancake. You go backwards like that. And he did that till he got all the way to the end of 20, and then he just went backwards and named every single one of them. He said, of course, he started at a very early age, but he says, you can teach yourself to re remember things if you go take that aspect of it. But he was pretty good. He showed some little tricks and everything, so, uh, you know. Well, people like that certainly add to the meeting. Well, they do. You know, you sit there and, you, and of course, Daryl knows. He's been to these meetings. So, some of these, as you know, are like sleepers. You're not in, really interested in them. It, I'm sure the, the message they get across is, is good information, but for each, each particular person has different things they're interested in. But then when I, this guy that talked from Goodwill, I was amazed at the recycling they do, if you can see on the, the print off I made. 
and I, I didn't realize how much they did until I printed off the print off, but it's uh, the so many things they recycle. And I knew they did the uh, computers because, I don't know, 10 or 12 years ago, we used to take the uh, computers down to uh, Charleston at the Goodwill down there. They would only take ones that were dated so far back. They wouldn't take the old ones. Well, we were fortunate because Butch Ledman, that's a preacher at our church, his wife, Kay, works at the uh, Union Mission in Canal City, and I was talking to her one day. She said, we take anything. I said, even if it don't work? She said, even if it doesn't work, because the Lions Club went on a tour through there one day, and they were talking about recycling. Of course, you know, he brings it up, y'all recycle. <laughs> but anyway, she said, oh yeah, she said, we take it in whether it works or not. We have a warehouse here, a crew here, and they try to fix everything so they can sell them in the store. They got a store there. And if they can't sell them, then we process them somewhere else. Well, come think, this guy spoke up and he said, well, we get all the things from the electronics from Google, from uh, uh, Union Mission. So I thought, well, that's really great to, to see our cycle of the recycling and how it goes around. But now Dell, from what I understand, refurbishes those products. And if they can sell them as refurbished, because um, Big Lots sells a lot of refurbished things. And uh, Value City used to. So, and you have to watch when you buy something like that, especially electronics. But um, they, they'll re redo them and put them out on the market to sell. And if they can't, they said they ship them out of the country. Now, I don't know what they do with them. Yeah. So, well, anyway. You definitely need to recycle them again. That's it. Thanks. Thank you. Good report.